For as long as we have been human, we have looked up. We have gazed into the velvet darkness of the night sky, feeling a profound and ancient pull. It's a curiosity that's woven into our very being, a desire to understand our place within this vast, silent expanse. We've told stories about the stars, navigated our world by their steady light, and dreamed of one day reaching out to touch them. This innate wonder is perhaps our most defining characteristic. It's driven us from the plains of Africa to every corner of our own world, and now it propels us outward into the great cosmic ocean that surrounds our small blue island in space. On a quiet Christmas morning in the year 2021, humanity sent a message to the universe. It wasn't a message of words, but one of ambition, of hope, of an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The James Webb Space Telescope, a magnificent instrument of discovery, ascended from the Earth on a pillar of fire. This was the culmination of decades of work, the dream of thousands of scientists and engineers, all focused on a single audacious goal, to see what has never been seen, to look back to the very beginning of time. This was not just another machine, it was a promise we made to ourselves. For a month, the telescope travelled a million miles from home to a special, quiet point in space known as the second Lagrange point. As it sailed through the void, it slowly, carefully unfolded itself like a delicate mechanical flower. Its great golden mirror, a honeycomb of 18 hexagonal segments, unfurled to catch the faintest, oldest light in the cosmos. Its vast five-layered sunshield, the size of a tennis court, deployed to protect its sensitive instruments from the heat of our sun. Every step had to be perfect. There was no room for error, no chance for a second attempt. The first deep field images from the Webb telescope were released to a waiting world in the summer of 2022. And they were, in a word, breathtaking. Where its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, saw a handful of faint smudges of light, Webb revealed a tapestry of stunning detail. The image was teeming with galaxies. Thousands upon thousands of them, each one a swirl of light, an island of billions of stars. Some were spiral galaxies like our own, others were great, glowing, elliptical orbs. And many were stretched and distorted, their light bent by the immense gravity of a galaxy cluster in the foreground, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Among this cosmic zoo, Scientists began to focus on the faintest reddish specks of light. These were the most distant objects ever seen by human eyes, galaxies whose light had travelled for over 13.5 billion years to reach us. These were objects that existed when the universe was just a toddler, a mere 300 to 400 million years old. According to our established theories, these first galaxies should have been small, they should have been somewhat messy and irregular, still in the process of coming together. Some of them appeared to be astonishingly massive, far larger than our models predicted could exist so early in the universe's history. It was like looking at a photograph of what should be a small child and seeing someone who already appears to be a fully grown adult. How could they have grown so large, so quickly? The universe, it seemed, was in a hurry. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter model or LCDM, has been the cornerstone of modern cosmology for decades. It's honestly a powerful and remarkably successful framework. It explains the expansion of the universe, the existence of the cosmic microwave background radiation. This model paints a very specific picture of cosmic evolution, one of hierarchical formation. Small things form first, and big things form later from the merger of these smaller things. It's a bottom-up process. Think of countless tiny streams gradually flowing together to form small rivers, which in turn merge to create mighty continent-spanning waterways. But the Webb Telescope's discoveries of massive, well-formed early galaxies challenge this bottom-up narrative directly. They suggest that, at least in the very early universe, the process might have been top-down, that large structures formed first and formed incredibly fast. This is a fundamental contradiction. If the observations are correct, then something in our standard model must be incomplete or perhaps even wrong. The process of science is a conversation between theory and observation. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, observation is speaking back and it's saying something new and unexpected. 
This is honestly the most exciting time to be involved in cosmology. The rule book we've been using for decades might not be just incomplete. Some of its most fundamental rules may need to be rewritten. We're like cartographers of old who, believing they had mapped the whole world, suddenly receive reports of a new, undiscovered continent. One possibility being explored is that the nature of dark energy, the mysterious force pushing the universe apart, was not constant. Some theories propose a form of early dark energy that was much stronger in the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, which could have accelerated the initial clumping of matter. Another, perhaps more radical idea, is that our understanding of gravity itself might need revision. For all of human history, we've been telling a story about ourselves and our place in the universe. Each new discovery, from Galileo's telescope to Hubble's deep fields, has added a new layer of richness and detail to this grand narrative. The James Webb Space Telescope has reminded us in the most beautiful way possible that the universe is under no obligation to conform to our expectations. The discovery of these impossible early galaxies has not diminished our understanding. On the contrary, it's expanded the landscape of what is possible. It's injected a profound sense of mystery and excitement back into the heart of cosmology. The unknown is not a void to be feared, but a territory to be explored. This is the true gift of science. It's a journey of perpetual discovery, a process that replaces simple certainties with deeper, more nuanced and ultimately more wonderful questions. These new mysteries are a call to the next generation of thinkers, dreamers and explorers. What is the true nature of dark matter? How did the first supermassive black holes form? These are the questions that will animate scientific research for decades to come. We're living in a golden age of astronomy, privileged to be alive at a moment when the cosmos is revealing some of its deepest secrets. The images themselves are a source of universal wonder. You don't need a degree in astrophysics to feel a sense of awe when you look at a web deep field image. Each point of light is a galaxy, a home to billions of stars and perhaps countless worlds. It connects us to the scale and majesty of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope is much more than a machine of glass and gold and wires. It's an extension of human curiosity. What it has found so far has been nothing short of revolutionary. It has challenged our most fundamental theories about how everything came to be. The work will continue. Every day the telescope gathers more light, more data, sending it back to us across the million mile gap. The pursuit of this knowledge is a pursuit for all of humanity as it speaks to our deepest questions of origin and destiny. By following these discoveries, you become part of the journey. You participate in one of the greatest quests our species has ever undertaken, the quest to understand everything. So stay curious, keep looking up. The cosmos has so many more secrets to share and the adventure is only just beginning. Please like and subscribe to Cosmic Discovery. Together, let us continue to explore the magnificent universe we are so fortunate to be a part of.